Hi guys, so today's video is gonna be a, another rant video and I haven't done that in a long time. I don't even know if I posted like any of my original stuff on the channel yet. But yeah, so if it's a little echoey or you hear other voices, it's because I'm actually at school in a, like a study building um, and I'm in one of the rooms and it kind of like reverberates between the rooms. So anyway, so today's video, if you couldn't tell from the title, is going to be about the BTS, sh uh, BTS thing with the radio and like I'll give you guys the rundown because um, some of the sources aren't 100% correct. I haven't done my full extended uh, research on it yet because like I honestly couldn't find everything about Hits 93, um, but I do know a little bit about it. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what happened and then I will give you my opinion because I'm extremely pissed off with this entire situation. So um, Hits 93 Toronto is a Toronto based radio station and um, they're not like a big station like um, 103.5 or like, um, what's another one, like 98? Point eight, something like that. Like, not it's not like a big station or anything. Um, it's just a smaller station. But anyways, uh, they wanted to do a K-pop hour on their radio station, and um, they were gonna play like mainstream artists, also like um, non-mainstream artists, and they were just gonna do that for an hour on their radio. And then a lot of armies um, decided no because they wanted to get BTS on there, but they didn't want to give the rest of the K-pop industry any limelight, which is... The, oh, we'll get there. But anyways, um, Korea Boo has a, an article out and it says ARMY shuts down Toronto K-pop radio station because they don't want other K-pop groups getting fame. Um, part of that title is not true. It's not a K-pop radio station. It's just a regular radio station that wanted to play K-pop for one hour. Um, but they did have the defense of not wanting other groups to get attention, which is really dumb. And um, I also have screen caps, which I will show. Um, I will show on screen when I talk about the screen caps. But anyways, um, so basically, armies were just like uh, they wanted BTS to be played for an hour, and then other groups in one defense that I've seen from some armies were saying that other people were like oh BTS is begging for attention or whatever or um, something along the lines of like just wanting to be westernized only BTS and not like other groups dumb um, but they just wanted just BTS to be playing and I understand the point of view that um, other people were putting down armies for making BTS a beggar group to be on Canadian radio um, but a lot of the armies were just a lot of the armies were basically saying only BTS gets to play in that hour and no other groups should because we're not going to give them a free ride to be played on Canadian radio. And that's, that's the extent of it pretty much. Um, and I have a lot of like screen caps revolving around this entire thing and it's just, it's craziness everywhere. So I'll, I'll, I'll be like going between a lot of things I have. So um, I have a friend who's actually friends with someone who is a friend of someone that works at Hits 93 and um, so she said uh, my friend goes to my friend who goes to my school owns the radio station and um, he's been receiving death threats because he wanted to play the k-pop hour um, but army didn't want that and he got death threats from it and he um, she even said that he had to delete some because they were that bad which is disgusting because you shouldn't be telling someone to go die just because they're not going to play all BTS for an hour. Then BTS Canada Projects, which is a uh, another Twitter account um, that's Toronto ba uh, Canadian based, obviously, um, said, uh, I'll show the proofs like here. It said, uh, so far here's what we know. Online radios rarely count towards charts or radio spins. Okay, but who cares? It's exposure. Uh, this radio station is not popular or even known in Toronto at all, which also doesn't matter because if they're playing on the radio, they're playing on the radios. People still listen to that station, um, even if it's not as popular as our mainstream stations. Number three, they have used BTS's name to gain attention but never played their music in the past. Excuse me. Um, Stations don't do that. <laughs> they All they do is play music. They don't use names to get famous. Um, number four, they have, however, played another group's music multiple times. They're a radio station. They're supposed to play music. Con conclusion, this is their way of stirring up fan wars and getting attention and clicks to their website and social media. This has given them tons of new interactions and the number 
numbers are all they're after, even if it's negative. Moving forward, let's not give them any more attention. Our fan base ignored them in the past and we will continue to ignore them. If you are wary about a station, no matter which accounts at it, uh, tweet at it, ask us first. We do our research. Uh, now let's move on from this issue and continue to request real radio stations that actually matter. Really? Even if it is a smaller radio station, it's still exposure to K-pop. Even if it's just BTS that you want to be playing, it's still exposure to everyone who doesn't listen to K-pop. So there's a lot of people, um, from what I read, a lot of people do listen to Hits 93 and um, they would be exposed to it no matter what, even if it is like just a few groups, even if it's not just BTS. So it doesn't matter if it, they're not a real radio station because that's just bullshit. Um, I'm really passionate about this thing. Um, and then they're also on the Korea Book Post. Someone who deleted their tweet now um, said, Armies won. The K pop community will not get a free ride for our hard work. Now let's focus on more important radio stations. Like, does it matter? Like, if you want K pop to be exposed, if you want BTS to be exposed, it should be exposed anywhere wherever whatever chance you get you can be playing it while walking down the, the street and then someone's gonna be like oh what's that song like it doesn't matter if it's a mainstream radio or not um and there's i think this person also deleted their their original tweet now um but they said vote no ask for one hour of bts sorry if this is rude but, but we didn't work this hard to give the entire industry a free ride there's no such thing as free rides in K-pop if you haven't learned that yet. Um, a lot, from what I find, a lot of the armies that stir up all these controversies and stuff are the newer armies, um, and a lot of them are a lot younger than I am. Like they're a lot of them are twelve year olds and stuff like that, and I don't want to bunch them up. But that's what I've tended to see for the past like however many years I've stopped like standing BTS because of the armies. Um, but from what I see, it's a lot of people who don't know the, the K-pop scene yet and they're only listening to BTS. Like, I've seen so many people who are like, I don't listen to K-pop, I only listen to BTS. Which, that's another rant for another day. But, they, there's no one giving anyone a free ride. If it wasn't for people like the first generation K-pop idols such as G.O.D, Jex Kiss, Xinhua, H.O.T, all of these groups, if it wasn't for them, K-pop wouldn't even fucking exist today. So people like don't take that into consideration when they think about BTS. K-pop started before BTS was even fucking born. So they have no right to be saying shit like, oh, we're not gonna give the industry a free ride. There are no free rides. You know how much shit BTS had to go through just to be at this point today? They had to go through so much shit. They didn't get popular until I Need You and that wasn't even their best song yet. They had so many other good songs before that. Their debut was amazing and no one paid attention to it. Then they had No, which, not that great, but Boy in Love was spectacular and no one cared as much. There were there were those original fans, such as me, who were so in love with them and then once they started getting popular, it went downhill from there because everyone's like, oh my god, I love BTS. It's like, bitch, you weren't there for their debut. Don't even get, like, don't start with me. So like, the fact that people are just saying like, oh no, we should play just BTS for the one hour. It's like, they're not the definition of K-pop. All of these groups are the definition of K-pop. There's hundreds of fucking artists out there that work their asses off and they don't deserve this shit, especially BTS because BTS has been getting so much shit from their fans that they look like a shit group now because of their fans. People still praise them for being all professional and stuff, but it gets to them too. You think that they don't hear about this kind of shit? I don't know if it was... Um, one of my friends posted on our Are You K-Pop group, uh, Facebook group and it was a tweet from BTS's official Twitter that said Really ARMY? <laughs> and I kind of lost my shit because it's kind of funny but like they hear about it You don't think they do? Like they obviously... They have social media, they're gonna hear about it So like oh my god just ARMYs, newer ARMYs please just calm the fuck down you guys don't own the industry. BTS does not own the industry. They don't own shit, okay? There's so much other stuff out there that you shouldn't be stirring up about one thing. Like this radio thing got to me because of how much backlash the armies were giving to other people. They're like, oh yeah, no, we're better than you guys, so you guys aren't gonna get uh, like time on the radio. Like, no, it's not how it works. Like, oh, just... 
this uh, I could be saying a lot more but I'm just gonna keep it there because I can get really angry about it like y'all got like a taste of how angry I am about armies I have a whole video dedicated to how mad I am at like certain armies it's not the whole fan base I'm blaming either by the way I'm not saying that all armies are like this. They're not. I have an army sitting in front of me right now. <laughs> but like, not all armies are these toxic armies that are like, fuck everyone else, just BTS. So it's a few bad ones that make everybody else look bad. Exactly. It's only the toxic people that get all this publicity because they're toxic. And it's not even the main part of the fandom. I guarantee that the faction of toxic armies is so small. But they're the only ones that you see because there's so much shit around them. And that happens with every group. That happens with XOLs because y'all know how XOLs get too. And it's just, it's so frustrating seeing shit like this. And oh god, guys, I'm just, I just need to get it out there. Toxic armies need to chill the fuck out. And I i don't care if I get death threats on my channel. I don't care if you guys unsubscribe from me. I don't care if I get to nowhere with this YouTube account. I just want to get it out there. Y'all armies that are taking this too far need to calm down. And y'all need to realize that BTS wouldn't be a thing if it wasn't for first gen idols. Just saying. So yeah, that's, that's my rant. Um, if you guys want to see more rants, let me know in the comments below and tell me stuff to rant about because I like ranting. I like, I like talking about stuff like this and I want to hear your opinion. What do you guys think about this whole BTS radio thing and I'm suddenly turning into uh, Philip DeFranco. Um, but I want to hear your opinion in the comments below. Let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!